William Hill sponsors IFL TV. I'm the man to beat Daniel Dubois. We're going to sleep. Hugo Cassius, IFL TV, MTK Global, we're in New York City. Yeah, Final, yeah man. Final press conference today, Joshua Ruiz. Uh, first time the pair of them had kind of come face to face. Uh, what, what's each one thinking? What's who thinking? What's each of them thinking? You know, it's, it's tough, man, because again, Ruiz is a great fighter. You don't want to take away from him. But if you look at their body styles, you know, Anthony Joshua is so much bigger than he is, um, at least taller. I think, um, I, think, I think Anthony is really thinking like, look, this is a real threat. I need to do the business. And I think Ruiz is going to come try his hardest, but I think he's got nothing to lose. And I think that's why he wanted to hold the belts. That might be the, the closest he ever gets to those belts. Okay, it was interesting that Anthony kind of gave Ruiz the belts. He was yeah, but he's them such and, a gentleman, yeah. man. This guy, how do you not like Anthony Joshua? He's such a gentleman. You know, you say, I respect their team. I respect that he's put his name on the dotted line. And you got to respect anyone who climbs to the rope. So I think, you know, Anthony's given him that respect. But I don't know if uh, Andy will ever get that close to those belts again. Um, is this a potential banana skin here for Anthony Joshua, in your opinion? Any heavyweight fight is. Any heavyweight fight is, especially a guy that comes in uh, late notice that you don't take very serious because, again, his one loss is against Parker down in New Zealand. You know, it was a Kiwi on uh, New Zealand soil. A lot of people thought that he won that. So potentially he could be right now fighting the WBO heavyweight champion of the world undefeated. And uh, so that's what he's looking at. So he can't take this. I think Anthony Josh was taking this very serious. Mm. Yeah, he knows what's at stake here. Obviously, we had the news a couple of days ago that Wilder will rematch uh, Luis Ortiz. Uh, what kind of message does that tell you? Look, to me, it only hurts these fighters because you can't be a great without the right, you know, guys to fight with. You need the right dance partner. So, I mean, how is your legacy going to hold up if you don't have the right guys to fight? So, you know, these guys all need each other. And if you, if you lose against them, as long as you go out on your shield, you could have the fight again. You could have a rematch, you could have a rubber match, but it's great for your legacy. So they're only hurting themselves by not fighting each other. Mm, absolutely. What's your prediction for the fight this weekend? For this fight? Yeah. KO. I think it's gonna be a knockout, but I think it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be great. I mean, this is the thing that's really important. I think this is it's such a breakout fight for Matchroom, for Joshua, for Katie Taylor, for Buazzi, for Pretty Boy Kelly. I like the fight with uh, Coyle and Algieri. Um, I love that Callum Smith is getting back in the ring in front of the TVs again. It's, it's a great thing. You know, all these fighters, they're really big in the UK, but I'm hoping, you know, I said it yesterday, I don't know if the, the fans here in the US know these guys or what they're in store to see, but I think they're in store to see some greatness. So there's some really potential stars on this card, um, and that's really exciting. And, and even like, you know, Austin Amma Williams and Diego Pacheco, we got the young guys on yeah. here. But, but the UK, to me, it's really about like the British invasion. That's what I said, because these, you know, I'm over there all the time in the UK, as you know, we see you guys all the time. And I know how great these fighters are, but I think a lot of the fans here in the United States, they don't know him. I mean, even Anthony Joshua walks down the street here, people don't know who he is. Yeah. You know, he couldn't, he couldn't do that in the UK. Yeah. He'd be mobbed. But they need to know who Pretty Boy Kelly, they need to know Joshua Boazzi, they need to know Katie Taylor, yeah. they need to know Callum Smith. So these are all, these are all good uh, fighters, and I like the whole card from top to bottom. It should be a lot of fun. Look forward to it. Two days to go. David Diamante, thank you very much for coming to IFL TV. And I'm sure we'll catch up with you again real soon. Thank you, Coog. What's up, man? William Hill sponsors IFL TV. I'm the man to beat Daniel Dubois. We're going to sleep.